All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, I know you're struggling with your shooting bads. I know you're trying to get them joints quick. I know that you need them before you get out there and do whatever you need to do. I got the key for you to get them, and this is the fastest way for you to get them. If you can dribble and not, like some people got the joints out there where you can dribble. If you can dribble, okay, that's cool, but I'm not one of those guys. My bill can't dribble. I'm a big guy. Uh, and this actually works for any build, whether you can dribble or not. I think that's probably a little bit more valuable than the ones where, you know, they saying you just got a curry slide and do it. So I'm going to break down for you how you can get your badges as quickly as possible and uh, not even have to stress it stress free. It's not a whole bunch of uh, nothing. You're not got to sit there and play my career for hours. You're just going to sit here, kick back, breeze through it. And um, that's about it. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We dropping the 2K heat every day of the week, and I'm gonna get back at y'all in one second. Dino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, man, so if you want to get your badges quickly, I'm, I'm sure you've all heard by now that the best thing to do is to go play in the warehouses and all those places around the city. We know that that's, those are the best places to play because the, the, I don't even know if the defense ain't up that high or what, but I know that it's just easier to manipulate the bots in that type of situation. And my career just seems like you're playing for 20 minutes and you're not really getting anything and they double team you, they're going hella hard. You can't control how um, how much playing time you're gonna get. You don't know if they're gonna put you on the bench, if they're gonna sub you in, sub you out, whatever. So I, I just feel like it's a whole lot easier if you go straight into the warehouses and then you play those games. You know you're gonna get all the shots or all the shots that you actually want you know that you're gonna be able to play as much as you want and you're not gonna get subbed out and you literally control the entire situation. And I'm gonna tell y'all about that like like right now. Like, look, this is the method that you, that you should use. Go to the warehouse and this is how you do it. Call for the ball. Then you're gonna to go to the corner. Then you're gonna call for a screen to get the guy to come up to the top. You want him at the top of the key, almost at the wing or somewhere right beside you. Pass the ball to him pass it right back, I'll call for it back, and then immediately take the shot. The computer's gonna be in a state where it's kinda stunned and it can't take, it can't defend you and it just won't step out on you, so that's all you have to do. Get in the corner, get to the corner, get down court, get to the corner, call for the ball, or, or, or call for the ball and go to the corner, you can do whatever you want to, but get the ball in the corner, call for the screen. He's gonna come over the top, and uh, if you do it right, he'll be at the wing almost. Kick it to him, kick it back, pull. It should be green almost every time, especially once you start getting badges. Like right now, I've been using this, doing this joint all day, and I got a lot of badges. I haven't been doing as much as I should have because I just haven't been playing the game because I've been working and doing a lot of stuff like that. But if you use this method, I promise you, you're gonna get at least like one badge every five games. So you're talking about one badge in 25 minutes or so um, versus what? Playing two or three my career games to get, to get one badge? It, to me, it's easy, especially if you're doing defensive badges and stuff. But we're talking about shooting. Now, if y'all want the defensive badge joint, let me know. I'll drop that later. But that's how you're going to do it. We're going to run through it one more time. You're going to go up court, call for the ball, get to the corner, kick it, uh, call for the screen so he can come up and be on the wing or something. Kick it to the screen, kick it to the corner, kick it to the top, ask for it back, pull immediately. I'm telling you. It's gonna work and it works beautifully. Uh, you know, like I said, it works and, and by, once you get the hang of it, you're gonna be good. To me, the two badges that you need to do this the most are Dead Eye, so they can't get the contest on you like they want to, and then Hot Zone Hunter. Because if once this becomes a hot zone, the shot is gonna be almost automatic. Let me tell you something about Dead Eye. I put Dead Eye on gold, I might even put it on Hall of Fame. What Dead Eye does this year is, instead of Dead Eye, making it so that that the person can't get a contest on you they still get the contest it just doesn't change your release so sometimes you're gonna see a 50 some odd percent uh 49 percent contest and your guy just gonna leave his hand up there like that and that's still gonna be green it's gonna be an excellent release uh because you got dead eye on so once the faster you can get dead eye and hot zone hunter then you can just plow through these games uh number two if i'm gonna tell y'all another secret i would say play it on the twos and the reason I say play it on the twos is simply this. 
when you play on the threes, as soon as you get eight points, here comes the double team, especially when you're playing the higher level people. You're playing the higher level people and those double teams start coming, it's not its not gonna be anything you're gonna do, you're just gonna turn the ball over. And you're gonna turn it over, over and over. Your teammate grade is gonna go down, you're not gonna get as much rep in and, and, and any of that stuff. So by all means, once you get, you get, go around the city and do whatever you want to. Like I said, it is fun to play it on threes here and there, get you a nice little switch up or whatever, but I'm telling you, it's just way easier on the twos. Um, because when you're on the twos, you can just do it. You can do it and you don't have that third person to come for the double team if they double team you. And they're never going to double team you on the twos. But if they did, you can just kick it and then you can reset the ball and everything will be good. So that's why I'm saying do it on the twos because on the twos, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing it against uh, Hondo Havlicek and uh, and Dan Cowens or, what, or whatever his name is, Dave Cowens. I'm playing against those guys and those two guys. Uh, they aren't the best as far as defense goes. So I've been able to farm this joint all day. And you're going to get your points. Now, it may look like your points aren't moving. But after every game, you're going to see that you that they are moving and that you are getting, indeed, more badge points and stuff like that. And the last thing that I want to tell y'all is, or the third thing I'm going to tell y'all is, don't win the game. When you, when you get up, you, you do whatever you got to do. Get your, your grade as high as you want to. Do all of that. But don't win the game. Because if you don't win the game, like if you win the game, you're going to get double rep and double badge points and stuff like that. Everything doubles up. And you're going to get more and more badge points. And that's cool. But then your reward for doing that is you're going to have to go and find another NPC and play, you know, keep playing the challenges over and over. For me, to, to get it going quicker and keep it rolling, I did with the T-Mizzle method. I'm doing the T-Mizzle method, and the video, link to that video is down in the description. Uh, what he said was, you go in, lose the game, and then you, you're good to go. And then you can just walk right back in and keep playing it. Because I feel like the time that you're gonna waste looking for the NPC, it's not worth it. You could have played a whole nother game. By the time you find an NPC, Go to the other warehouse and done that. That's like 10 more minutes. You could have played two more games in that in that amount of time. So you're getting, you 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 would be getting what? 6,000 points if you do it that way. But if you, I mean, not 6,000 points, I'm sorry. If you double up, let's say you got 3,000 points on your game. You double up, you're gonna get 6,000. But if you play three games, you're gonna get 9,000. You see what I'm saying? So the times you're gonna spend looking for the NPC, you could use that just playing another game. So just lose the game. And if you wanna lose the game and you don't want your, your teammate grade to go down because obviously we know the higher your teammate grade, the higher your percentages are, all of that stuff, the more your badges are gonna go up. This is what you do. You have complete control. You remember when I said you got complete control of the situation? You literally have complete control of the situation. Tell your team, you can literally tell your teammates to shoot from anywhere and they're gonna shoot the ball. I got Russell Westbrook right here. I'm, make, I'm just making them take all these hella bad shots. Hella bad shots. Like, he can't even control himself because I'm in control. So you make your teammates take the bad shots. They'll take the shots for you. You can maintain your teammate great, and you good to go, man. And I am promise you that this method will get you your badges in almost no time. I'm halfway through my badges, and I've just started really doing this method today. If I had been doing this, I, I would have been had it, man. And I'm not going to lie to you. You can, you can probably get your badges, like, literally in one day doing this yeah, but especially defensive badges defensive badges they're gonna come like like nothing they're gonna come like nothing because you're gonna be getting shot contest but i'll give y'all a video on that if y'all want it and i know y'all looking at this and y'all want the jump shot get this joint to 500 likes and we'll go y'all give y'all the jump shots man but anyway i gotta get up out of here man i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope this works out for you leave a gym start down in the comment section if this helped you and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.